Hello everyone and welcome to a Friday night at the Art House Studio. My name is Karen Ellis and I'm so glad that you can join me here on Ustream. Uh, I have a project in mind that I'm going to do that is a little bit beyond what I normally do. But it came about in a crazy little way and so I just thought I'd share with you how some of these Friday night projects kind of get started. Really? Kathy's here. Say hi, Kath. Hi. So Kath, Kathy was here today, and when, when she came in, I had the scan and cut out. Ooh, ah, scan and cut. See, it's here. You know it's going to be used. <laughs> uh, and I was uh, getting some logos printed out with the scan and cut. See, here's the Dilutions logo, because I am getting in some of the new sprays from Diane Reevely and uh, her stamps and everything, and I'm putting together a little section in my studio that um, I can display it, and I wanted to have her logo over the area where it has up. So I made two, and we had done that. So it was out, and they turned out well, don't you think? I think they turned out really well. Yeah, it works out. Yay, scan and cut. So I'll do some more, because we got sidetracked. I went next door to the candy shop to reach chocolate, um, and if you're my trainer and you're watching this, don't worry, I didn't have any. <laughs> yeah, whatever. But when I was over there, the girl that works over there says, did you pick up your gift, Karen? And I said, what gift? They said, well, a girl came in here a couple weeks ago to leave you a gift. And she said, hold on, I'll go get it. And she emerges with this little bag for Karen next door. There you go. And I opened up this bag. Are you ready? Are you ready? It is all dyed paper towels. Take a look. Isn't that hysterical? I love <laughs> the girl in the chocolate shop didn't know what to think. <laughs> Somebody left you used paper towels. <laughs> I'm like, this is what people gift me. And I get very excited about these kinds of gifts. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Kathy's here and Kathy's laughing at me as she is kind of doing right now over there. And I said to Kathy, I said, well, like, I wanna, I'm dying to try these and do something with these paper towels. Ooh, I got ooh. <laughs> And I thought, and I had the scan and cutouts. So we're like, well, will it cut paper towel? And I'm like, well, I don't see why it wouldn't. So Kathy and I set forth on an adventure of deciding what to do. So I have the scan and cut here, and I'm just going to put it up here. See so your scan and cut? Ooh, uh oh. Let me move my computer a little bit so you can see. And um, I was going through some of the things that I thought, well, it would be kind of neat to put something together using it and the paper towels. And I was telling Kathy that I am putting together a little vignette for my window. Um, and uh, I wanted to do sort of something with outdoor items. And I was OK with doing a picture or something. And so we thought, well, why don't we do like a quilt pattern? First, it was stained glass. But then we thought, no, let's just use the patterns that are in here. <laughs> <laughs> so I went looking through um, the scan and cut designs. And we kind of chose one. And I am going to do a tissue paper on MDF board, faux stained glass, because I'm going to pour resin on it, outdoor project. Does that make any sense? Sure. Sure. <laughs> anyway, it's a stay tuned, but we'll show you how we did it. <laughs> OK. Have I lost you? Because I kind of have. But my brain kind of works in these weird and wonderful tangents. Okay, I go in one way, and then I go out another way. And then I say, oh, let's try this. And that's kind of how today happened. <laughs> Ooh, nice. So I'm going to show you what we did here. I'm going to zoom into the scan and cut. Uh, it makes complete sense. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see. <laughs> With question marks. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So the scan and cut comes with um, a whole bunch of patterns that are booked in it. So if I push pattern, I'm going to show you what I did. You get all of these. Oh, hold on. Hopefully it's in focus. Okay. All kinds of different options from shapes to more for more die cuts, for um, titles, borders, fonts. And if you scroll down one, you get quilt patterns involved. So I touch the quilt patterns, and then I went into, you can go into any one of these quilt patterns and get more quilt patterns. So I chose this one, 
And I happen to know you can scroll, 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 do all kinds. Well, on the last page, we saw this. You see it? Hold on, because it's a little bit fuzzy. We thought that would be kind of cool. See if I can do. Can you see it? I don't even know. Some quilter out there is going to know that pattern, but I certainly don't know that pattern. So I'm going to do a 11 by 11, 11 and a half by 11 and a half version of that quilt square on an MDF board. So Cassie and I went to figuring out how to go about cutting the pieces. So I have all my pieces cut. Here is my one color because it's a two color piece. And here are all my pieces for the other color. Be funny. And um, I thought I'd show you how I cut them because you can program the machine to cut what you want how you want it. I will show, make a, show you quickly how to do that and cut out one little piece that I said to Kathy I could actually probably cut one more out. And then we'll try putting this thing together because this is paper piecing at its finest. And I may, may not be so good at it, but we're going to try. Difficult quilt pattern? Well, hopefully it's not a difficult quilt pattern because I'm about to glue it to paper. But maybe it would be difficult if you were sewing it. Right? But I'm not sewing it. Not today, anyway. Lots of points to match. I get you. But I'm sure we'll figure it out. Okay. So, to make this, I've already adjusted the size. But remember I said it was going to be 11 and a half by 11 and a half? I'm going to zoom right in to see if you can't. Follow along with me. Sorry, guys, taking you for a little jaunt. Hmm. Focus, please, machine. It's going to focus on my finger, not on the words, or not on the letters, numbers, whatever those are. <laughs> can you see how it's 11 and a half by 11 and a half? I can plus or minus it to go up or down. But I'm just going to uh, keep it at 11 and a half because that's the size of my MDF board. Okay, so this whole thing is going to cover my board. And I'm going to say okay. So then it breaks it down into these are all the pieces that I need. And here are the two colors. You can see them there. So it's brown and green. So I happen to know because I've already done it. I'm just going to pick this. I'm, I'm going to do this shape. And press okay. And it's going to tell me, and I know it's blurry, and I really hope that you can under, uh, see this later because I'm really, uh, you see that? It tells me that I need eight. And because this is a quilt pattern, it automatically gives me the seam allowance. But for my project, I don't want the seam allowance. So I'm going to take that off. So I'm going to press this button right here. That's the seam allowance button. See that? So it added it. And now it's taken it away. So I'm going to use that one. And I only need one more, but I'm just going to put in eight. I might as well do eight. Before I do, I'm going to press this tool button. And I'm going to put my paper in. Now my paper, remember, is, here we go, paper towel. And what I had to do was I had to stabilize it. Now, before Kathy laughs, we did have a little bit of trouble because uh, when I was cutting this out, and it had nothing to do with the cutter or the blade or anything. It had everything to do with the stabilizer. So mental note, when using fine fabrics like <laughs> paper towel, like anyone else would use paper towel, make sure that you, like, scorch this baby. <laughs> Well, maybe not scorch it, but make sure that the adhesion to the stabilizer is really, really good because you don't want any movement at all in the paper towel to ruin the blade because it can pull the fabric, okay? All right. So I'm going to put this in, and I'll zoom out so I can show you. Hold on. You guys are, what are you guys talking about, the seam allowances? You guys are crazy ladies. Okay, so here it is. It's in the machine. Ooh, I didn't want to show you that part yet. <laughs> when, you, 
when you put your paper towel, your sized paper towel, on the sticky mat, make sure you don't have any unsized paper towel on it, or else you'll leave a residue. Oops. <laughs> I'll take care of that later, but yeah, oopsie, don't do what Karen does, okay? All right, so we're in. And I wanted to show you how I can adjust the cut area. All right, let me see if I can pull this up. Here we are. I'm back and forth with this machine, and I know it, and I hope you bear with me a little bit, but I know that some people find this really helpful. Okay, oh, one back, and that was in focus. Maybe it wasn't. Okay, this says cut area, and it has some sizes here, and then the tools. If you click the tools, you get a screen image of the mats. And if you press and hold the arrows and drag it to the size of the mat, I have four inches here, one, two, three, four inches that way. And I'm only going to go down five inches. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do it like to here. That's the size of my paper on my mat. Press OK. And press OK again because you've set it. And now, remember, I'm going back to this area, and here's my non-seam allowance piece. It tells me I needed eight for that pattern. I'm going to say set, and it says I can't do that on that size page, funny enough. That's okay. It says I can only do three. So I'm going to press OK, and I'm going to reduce the number that's on here. And I really only need one. So I'm just going to go down to one, and then press set, and then it's up in the... <laughs> and it's already set up there. Let me see if I can pull it through. You see that? So it sets it to my cut area. And we're ready to go. All right. So I'm going to zoom out again. Zooming out, zooming out, zooming out. Okay. So once I'm there, I'm pressing OK. And I'm pressing the cut feature. And I'm going to go, and I'm going to hope like heck I did that right. <laughs> we got thumbs up. And I'm going to finish it. But I could go back to select next part and go to the next square and then keep adding and doing it on whatever pages. And that essentially, ladies and gentlemen, is how you can do a quilt pattern on that. Really fast and easy, because here it is, look. Here it is. Here's my piece. Ta-da. I'm all set. Huh. Can you believe it? I don't know. Kathy, can I get you to put the plastic covering back on there? And hopefully you guys could understand what I was doing because um, I just wanted to show you how I made my pieces. So it didn't take one long once we figured out that the uh, sizing was our issue. <laughs> Is that not true, Kathy? <laughs> Honest to God. What machine is it? Um, it is the scan and cut machine from Brother. And this is paper towel. So yes, you can cut pretty much anything with it. It is awesome. For us mixed media people, it's pretty cool. Just got to play around with it a little bit. Yeah, pretty awesome. Okay. <coughs> All right. So I'm going to move my light around. Or maybe I won't because it's just glaring in there. All right, and I am going to get my canvas, which isn't quite dry. It has um, the duck, it's called a duck hole, isn't it? Duck, whatever. Anyway, that sides up. <laughs> well, it wouldn't really matter with this. No, that's true. No, I want to hang it. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> All right, girls, I'm just going to move over. You, you just tw tweeted I just make a paper towel. <laughs> I'm making a paper towel quilt. Yes, I am, but I'm putting it on a board. <laughs> so not quite the same thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I just took you guys for a ride. <laughs> oh, I'm zoomed right out. Let's see if I can't. Um, Kathy, could you help me here? I just need to. Um, okay, girls, close your eyes. 
I need to put the other seat down. There's one more. Lift it all the way down. Lock it in. Perfect. Yay. Okay. There. And when you stop swaying, <laughs> we'll get going. How's that? Hello. How are you doing today? It's Erica, right? All right. I can't believe you tweeted I'm making a paper towel quilt. But anyway. <laughs> okay. So I have all my pieces. And you, ha you ladies have to understand, I don't quilt. <laughs> so this in itself is going to be very amusing. Um, I'm going to be putting this on with some regular gel mat. Okay. There you go. And, ugh. Hopefully there we, is it gonna and I have a brush here and first of all I am just going to go in and place these things. So I am using the whole thing. Remember I sized it to the size of my board. So this should work. <laughs> okay. So this should work. So far so good. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are you using as a stabilizer? I just used the stabilizer from Brother that I could get here, but you can use any iron-on stabilizer. It'll work fine for you. And that one's going to go there. So that means this piece is here. Look at me. It matches. It matches. It matches. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I don't want to cough in your ears either. Well, I know this piece is in the top corner, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it down. So I'm just putting a nice layer of gel medium on the back. That's the one thing about the scan and cut, hey eh, Kathy? All the pieces are the right size. Yeah. I didn't screw up the cutting. <laughs> no wiggling. <coughs> so remember, I did these without... Um, without a seam allowance, but if you were sewing this together, you could draw it. You draw it first. You could draw it right on the fabric, your seam allowance right on the fabric. Kind of cool, actually. Oh, look, it fit. <coughs> oh, I need a... Could you grab me a glass of water from the back? I'm so sorry, Kathy, but <coughs> sorry, girls. Don't mean to cough. And guys, I know there's some guys who watch this. So I'm just going to go ahead and place all of these pieces according to that pattern. Yes, Brenda, I so caught that CHA bug. It was a nasty bug. I was so sick. It was nasty, all right. I couldn't speak last week, so I couldn't even broadcast. So um, last Friday night feels weird, but I'm so happy to be back. So take a look at this. These, these pieces are cut so perfectly because they weren't cut by me. <laughs> but look at that. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Take a peek. Ooh, nice. This is going to be fun. Gorgeous. Okay. That feels better. All right. Another piece of this. So right now, it's just kind of putting it all on. You would see the... You would, wouldn't you? Okay. Like, seriously. I don't know. Do you guys hear Kathy? If I cut these with scissors, you'd see all the wobbles. But you can't. Like, totally. It's like perfect cutting. 
And I just do this with paper too, right? Do it with anything. Paper piecing. Yahoo! Ah, uh, Heather, I'm sorry you're sick too, kiddo. That's not fun. Nice to see you online, though. I've missed ya. You coming to Scrap Fest? I had my first call about Scrap Fest today at the studio. Didn't I? It's exciting. All right. So, like, this is working out really well. <laughs> Kathy, who knew? You should have seen us, though, with the stabilizer. I cannot stress enough that you need to make sure your stabilizer is all down. And um, Because Kathy says, did you have any trouble when you did this with fabric? I'm like, no. And, but I think I... I'm sure of it, Kathy. I'm sure that's what it was. Because as soon as we really, like, ironed the poop out of that, it was fine. Yeah. So make sure your stabilizer's grabbing all the way, girls. Come on. Hello, Sherry. Hey, Scrappy Camper Sisters. Oh, I just snagged. Now remember, this is paper towel, so it's delicate, right? So I want to make sure that's glued right in there. It's actually not a bad, like, this is pretty paper towel. <laughs> and I think it was Alyssa Light who dropped this off for me. Alyssa, if you are watching and this was you, thank you. Next time I speak to Alyssa, I'll have to ask. Because <laughs> Alyssa dyes her own fabrics. so And she has brought me different paper towels and stuff before. So I imagine this is Alyssa doing this for me. This very nice thing. <laughs> because quite honestly, ladies, like this is not dilution spray. This is not ink spray. This is dye. So uh, it would be r running together a little bit more because of it being water reactive. If it wasn't, right? You guys understand that, I'm sure. But seriously, this is fun. Karen's making a paper towel quilt. Oh. Scrap Fest Kitchener, yes, Jerry, that's what I'm talking about. Scrap Fest Kitchener. Had my very first call on it. I think registration starts soon. I have to check and see what it is. Look at how perfect is that. Like, seriously. It can't get any more. Look at this, girls, I'm quilting. <laughs> I am so quilting. Hello, Harriet. Heart of hearts. Love it. It. Uh, I'm not sure when registration is. Um, you can go on their website, scrapfest.ca, and find that information out. Um, but the actual event is April the 11th, 12th, or 10th, 11th. Regardless, it's the 11th whether that's a Friday or not. Ta-da! That's kind of fun. Look at the color. <laughs> Next! Good evening, Miss Nancy. Hey, Phoebe. Everybody's coming on board tonight. It's fun. Okay, this one now. Next color, switch. Oh, don't say that word. Whoops, somebody said the S word. Snow. Like, 
I don't even have to measure anything. I know. It's perfect. <laughs> Who knew? All right, pinks. I don't mind paper piecing either when it's like this. Absolutely. Totally fine. Whoops, although <laughs> gel medium snags really fast. Look at that. Faster than your stained glass, too, Kathy. <laughs> What's that? It cuts easier, too, yeah. No, it doesn't cut you either. Oh, it doesn't cut me. Oh, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> it's pretty. We're getting there. Now, this is for those of you who are just logging in. This is paper towel. This is paper towel pieces that were dyed and left as presents for me. I was so excited. I like pre these kinds of presents. And um, oh, there's a piece of paper towel, right? Let's sneak that. Let's get it good down. You know what I mean. That two ply came apart. So um, we put it through the scan and cut. So if you log back in later, you will see um, a crude, if not there, demonstration of how I got these pieces together. But it was pretty simple, wasn't it? Once, once you know, <laughs> once you know that it has to be stabilized really well, you're fine. You have to fiddle around with your blade um, tension too. But again, once you know. It's fine. Right? Because once you get it, it was oh, yeah. fast. It's a setup. Just like anything, though, isn't it? It's a setup that always takes the longest. Well, once you know. Yeah, once you know. Do, 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 do. You missed the greeting. <laughs> Hi, Joanna. Paper towel is very pretty. Not that. I'm going to pipe this later with my Viva pen and then put the resin on it. So I think that'll look really neat. I really think that'll look neat. I'm so excited about it. Kathy has no idea. <laughs> Phoebe, uh, Kathy's here in the studio with me today. Hey, Phoebe. <laughs> Hello, Terry. How are you? That's pretty. Paper towel. The stabilizer is keeping it from stretching? Yeah. Absolutely, actually. Because when you typically put the gel medium on paper towel, it's going to stretch and pull. And Yeah, good call. Stabilizer. Those sewers knew something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Phoebe, I'm sorry you're having a buffering problem. Look at that, though, seriously. Right to the end. Oh, that one came out with the stabilizer. This one came off the stabilizer, look. So I'll just kind of put it back on. I think actually I didn't quite know that. That's okay. Close enough. My hands are getting all goopy. And I think that's causing me a little bit of problem. Joanne. 
You got me singing with your nuts. Oh, 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 go back, go back, go back. Came off the stabilizer. <laughs> Dry. <laughs> Dry. <laughs> okay. What are we? Hey, Nancy, we're sticking them to an MDF board. I just painted it with uh, black gesso. And just sticking it on. I'm just going to lift this corner up, ladies. Hold on a second. Because I want the corner on. There we go. It's just easier for me to see that way. I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> it's a little bit far away from me. Kathy. It's fun, Kathy. Oh, this one's already off the stabilizer. You guys see that? So that might have been one of the original ones we didn't do properly. <laughs> Oops. There's my issue right there. Yeah. I think the other thing is I need to wash my hands. Because it's sticking to my hand. Ooh la la, thank you. Oh. You have an issue with your tissue? <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> I just read that. You have an issue with your tissue. <laughs> Honest to God. That's why I keep you around. <laughs> You're so fun. <laughs> There's an issue with your tissue. Look at that. Fits right in. <laughs> the simplest little things amuse me. <laughs> like, seriously. It's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy, actually. Hello, JJ. All right, next. I might as well continue on. I'll do this corner now. With the blue. Catch me when I fall. I think this will be pretty when the resin's on it, too. All the little, all the, all the textures in the tissue. It's going to be fun. This is an old song now, 13 seasons. Yeah, really. Wow. Remember? Has anybody been watching? Ah! Not ah. Has anybody been watching American Idol? I wonder how Harry Connick is. I love Harry Connick. I bet you he's okay. I like me some Harry Connick. He's a cutie. You're watching it, Nancy? How's it going? Waves from Florida. Oops. Oops. Ah! Wrong piece. 
Go away. Come back later. I need this one. I almost put the wrong color on. That would not have been good. He's a cutie on American Idol. I know. I really, I've always loved him. I've always loved him. Always, always, always. Perfect. <laughs> it's pretty amazing to me, actually, how simple it's going on. I guess when you cut things properly or have the right tools, like seriously. But this would be really fun in an art journal, too, and then paint oh, yeah. it over and all kinds of fun stuff. It's just we're doing stuff for uh, – I have I have something in mind as I was saying with a a vignette so a vignette so that's why I'm doing it like this we're gonna do it to uh, so that this can go outside in the garden my paper towel art <laughs> in the garden. <laughs> But it'll be great when it's all got resin on it, and so it'll protect it. For those of you who are wondering, how the heck is that going in the garden? And you weren't here for the explanation. So I'm going to use the Viva Decor, uh, Viva Color, or whatever it's called, pen to pipe around this to make it a little bit more like stained glass looking. Because that's one of my favorite things to do with that pen. Hey, Kim, how you doing, kiddo? I've been watching, speaking for art, I've been watching the clips on YouTube, too. Like, sort of, a couple of them. A couple from Detroit, I saw. I don't know where else they've been. That's all I've watched. And they were fun. He was cute. I like my Harry. I have a lot of good memories from when I was in university, and and watching Harry Connick Jr. specials and stuff. Because he did um, New Year's Eve specials. Remember those? Very fond memories of being with my roommates. And old bones. Well, you know. I do. <laughs> it's allowed. It's allowed. It's all fine. I am going to get daring and do the whole, instead of filling it in as I go. <laughs> now, now that I've done that, it better fit. <laughs> Everything else seemed to fit okay, though. Yep. Okay, I kind of like the scan and cut. Because <laughs> even I can do this without fretting. <laughs> oh, sorry, I wasn't in there. <laughs> Yay for the scan and cut. <laughs> A magazine or a photograph like that? Sure it would. Just cutting it in the pattern and then... Yes! Two photographs together. Womp! <laughs> that would be fun. Why not? Or just the pink, the photograph. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so just do the big... Yeah, I know what you're saying. That would be cool. Ooh! You're giving me thoughts. <laughs> should maybe try that. Kathy, you shouldn't give me ideas. Like, seriously, I can't believe that just fit. <laughs> you were having doubts? Well, you never know. 
It is me. <laughs> so you have to remember, I am the woman who doesn't like to measure. Oh. So I never get anything just so, ever. This is taking my, this is keeping me to the no measurement rule. <laughs> well, seriously. Hey, hey, hey. Like, Gorgeous. right down the center. And I love the paper towel and the sense of all the different colors because it's, yeah. it's like marbling it. Yeah. It's beauty. Woohoo! <laughs> They're talking about it to American Idol now. Love Harry. Really. Keith has the most beautiful eyes. Yeah, I hear you. I'm all over that. He's got beautiful eyes. But Harry Connick, he's just got that charisma. That. That. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell my husband. <laughs> <coughs> so this was done on the scan and cut. Yes, it was, JJ. This uh, is a paper towel that was sized with, um, I don't know, iron-on sizing. Uh, and um, put through the scan and cut. Like, I'm not even, I don't even care anymore. You notice I'm just placing. Okay, this is the next one in my hand. It goes in next. That's cool. I know you want it. Oh, no, your power went out. Oh, Lee's power went out. Oh. Well, it didn't go out here. Lee's in my town, so that would have been nasty. Been Glad box. it's back on, Lee. Oh, it's a box on again? Well, she's got it. Well, she's back on. Like, all right. I just got the paper towel off the sizing. Uh oh. I'm gonna have a little section there. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, a little bit off the sizing there. Now you want it. I know you want it. This is looking pretty fine. Probably should debunk. You want um, a scan and cut? You overloaded the system. <laughs> Her power went out because she overloaded the oh. system. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I am really liking the scan and cut. I've been trying it on lots of different things. Um, you just have to play. But I do recommend that anytime anybody comes in here and talks to me about the scan and cut, um, is start off with something basic and then work your way. And, and as you get confident with it, try different things like I did today. Because if you try something that doesn't work the first time, you're going to get frustrated and poo-poo and whatever. All right? Yeah. No fun. When you have something in your head you want to do and it doesn't work the first time you try it, you get frustrated. And I know. It happens to all of us. So I say start off with something basic and get to know the machine and get to know how the blades work and then go to town. Because, yes, you too can cut paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> Uh, just about to cut some stamp images as we chat. What to your awesome? So Jane, she got a scan and cut too. Oh, great! Wonderful, yeah. Um, your stamps definitely. You can stamp your stamps on a piece of paper and cut them out. But you just need to make sure. Um, I'm not sure if you know this or have come across this yet. You have to make sure that the stamps that you're using have a continuous outline. Because if it's broken in any way or the line is broken, it's not going to necessarily read it. So you have to make sure that, that it's a readable, thick, continuous line. Not every stamp will work. At least not yet. Not until scanning technology changes a little bit. So start off with a simple stamp. 
<laughs> it's all good, Phoebe. It's all good. She says she it sounds pretty good, but she's cool with her big shot right now. As you keep going and as you do things, you never know, right? There's tools out there for everyone. And, but some tools are just a little more versatile. And depending on what you're going to use it for and what you're going to do, absolutely. Absolutely. Right? Because it's all good. This is looking pretty fun. Uh oh, did I just lose you guys? Okay, good. This is, now, these have a little bit of red in them, which is going to be kind of funny. Look down there. You've had it for a while. It's an, an early Christmas gift to yourself. Good for you. Good for you. Uh, yep, they don't fill in with light pencil. No, you have to have a, a very definitive edge. I have been I have been playing with the mine so um, with all kinds of different things so that I can tell people as they come in and because I do sell them here at my studio. I am a brother dealer here in Canada, so I have the sewing machines and I have the scanning cut. So much fun. I've been playing with, like, I've been sewing more, too. Is I just, I've been loving every second of it, eh, Kath? It's kind of fun. And I giggle at myself as I'm quilting with glue. <laughs> <laughs> like, really, Karen? <laughs> well, isn't that funny? <laughs> I'm quilting paper towels with glue, yet I have these beautiful machines right behind me right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, honestly, rock my world. You know what that would be great for? What? Making a backsplash. Making a backsplash? Yeah, and then putting the. Uh, with the resin on top of that? Oh. <laughs> Make your own backsplash tiles? Oh. <laughs> Kathy's a bad influence on me because you know dang well I'm going to be trying that. I got a kitchen reno coming up in my future. <laughs> I so have a kitchen reno in my future. <laughs> That would be so cool. Oh. <laughs> With the paper towel texture and everything. Yeah. That rocks. <laughs> Hold on one second and I will read what you're saying there, JJ, about the scan and cut. One sec. Like, seriously. Okay, she says... Uh, oh, well, that's great. Watch the YouTube the other day. Um, that it will work around on a busy monochromatic paper. You're going to try it soon. Uh, a busy monochromatic paper, it should. And again, as long as there's clear definitive lines and there's enough um, contrast, because it will, it will only pick up what, the, what it sees in contrast, right? So um, sometimes different shades of, diff of the same color don't always catch. So give her a go. It's worth a shot, right? Like, seriously, look at that. <laughs> okay. I got to get my Viva pen. And I did have a little bit of a right there. Yeah. It stretched a little, yeah. Otherwise, holy coolness. All right. 
So I should see this in person. Okay, hold up. Ooh, la, la. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I think what I'll do is I'll do a little video on how I got all the pieces cut for later so people can go back in and and see that video just on its own. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Pearl pen. Yes, JJ, absolutely right. She says even if there's no contrast, you can use your sheet project protector over the page and to wipe it to mark it on where you want to cut. And then you can scan this, the page protector so it knows where to cut later. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's exactly how you do it, JJ. It's exactly how you do it. It's just without the um, transparency or, or page protector, you have to make sure there's high contrast. She's a smart one. She's done her homework. Okay, I'm going to move it over to here where it's a little bit drier. And I have my uh, paper pen. Er, come on. Er. This one's the graphite. That's why I wanted to use it. Not quite black because I thought it would be prettier. <coughs> paper pen as opposed to pearl pen just means that it's not <coughs> pearlescent. It's just... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, it's matte. But as I'm putting resin over this, it's going to be very glossy anyway, so it doesn't, it's not going to matter. Okay. I don't even know if you guys can see me doing this. Oh, yeah, you can. You can see the outline there, right? So it's piping it. I do have a little section. I think I'm just going to keep moving it. So if I hope you guys don't get dizzy here, but does that make sense, Kathy? So you can see the definitive line. I got my life to get. I'm up all night to get. Ah! <laughs> I gotta put that back down. It's a little bit wet and I get snagged on my arm. See that? See it's moved off the go a little bit more gel medium on there. See? Push it in. Came off the sizing. Heat guns there, right? Right in front of you. No. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to get lucky. Hey, Karma, how are you doing, kiddo? What a different the paint makes. It really kind of brings it out, doesn't it? It's um, it's just piping it. It's just piping those edges, kind of like if you're stained glass 
This would be what they what do they call it? Lead. Lead. <laughs> oh yeah, that. Here I'm thinking it's something a little bit more complicated than lead. I'm adding the lead. So yeah. If you keep constant pressure on the tube as you're doing it, you should get a nice even flow. Justin Timberlake rocks my world too. And his beginnings make me chuckle. Yeah. <laughs> and think, gotta love it. Guy I went to high school with uh, wrote some of the songs for N Sync. Yeah, on that No Strings Attached album, he wrote a few songs on it. And every time I hear that album, I hear Brad's song because some of the chord progressions that he used in the songs in that in that album are very similar to the ones that he did when we were in high school. It's fun to hear. I'm like, oh, that's a Brad song. And then I look it up. Yep. <laughs> fun. Nice to see him do so well in the music industry. Very talented guy. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> Doing like the running carrion. <laughs> You used to babysit the drummer from Great Big C, and your sister was his first drumming teacher? That's awesome. I love that band. That is so cool. Nah, I think I know where music's from. <laughs> That's so fun. <coughs> Some little nibblers there. <laughs> okay. Actually, where are my scissors? Are they right there? Oh. Oh, thank you. I'm just going to trim. I had a little bit of a excess. There goes my perfection. <laughs> but I just trim that a little bit. So here we go. Totally fun. I'm liking this a lot. So I have the resin here, but it needs to be dry. So I might turn off the recording. I'm not sure what to do. I guess people can fast forward through the recording. I just always hate to. Because really, when the res when it gets to the resin, it's just me mixing it, <laughs> and then I pour it, and it's done. <laughs> you guys, Karen is now a unique quilter. I am Eileen. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Everybody's finding out there's a lot of people from Canada watching me tonight. <laughs> He's Canadian too, has a few original songs and does some covers of Rush and some Peter Gabriel. 
Very cool. Cheryl, you were born in Churro? That's fun. My husband was born in Churro. Funny, small world, eh? I have a little bit of a big block. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to have to do something about that because that'll mean that I have to have a thicker thing of resin there to cover the piping. If I want, I guess. I don't have to. Do, 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 do. I love how they're talking music, Canadian music even. <laughs> I'm almost done. Look at that. I probably could have done this a little bit steadier. But it's not too bad. Hmm? It's not even either. Yeah. Thank you for giving me that out, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got all the sections. Does it look like I... I think I've got it all. Wow! All right, drive time. So here's what's the thing. Do I keep the recording going for those people who are not here? Or uh, let them watch me dry and then mix resin? Or should I turn off the recording? Hmm. Nice job. You would have put your arm in one? What? <laughs> oh, because of the, the piping? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why I kept moving it around. It's not dry yet, though. <laughs> Jury's still out. <laughs> so paper towel. Paper towel. That's so fun. Like, seriously, how do we get to me quilting with paper towel on a, <laughs> sort of quilting even. <laughs> it's not even quilted. <laughs> well, I guess it is, sort of. You're loving it? Thanks, Crazy Nine. It was so easy with the scan and cut stuff, though. Holy, did that go together fast. I love the marbling look of the paper towel as well. <laughs> Terry just wrote, that is why you ate teacher. Did I ate teacher or am I, or is that is why I are, I am a teacher. <laughs> Someone ate a teacher. <laughs> Who ate a teacher? <laughs> I know you did, Terry. Terry says, I meant our teacher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's teasing. I think it's, just, it's just cute. It's funny when typos come up like that. I love it. 
for those of you who are watching the the um, recording, I hope you make it to a live broadcast one time because it's really neat to see the people chatting away and, and stuff. So tonight's all about Canadian music. Oh, and Justin Timberlake is in there and apparently eating peaches, but, you know, it's all good. <laughs> That is a typo worthy of you just saying. <laughs> That's what music just said. <laughs> it's a good typo. <laughs> Love it. We don't want to send anybody back to uh, Canada, Eileen. I know where you're going, and we're not even going to say the name here. <laughs> Because if you're coming back to this area, <laughs> 20 minutes from here, <laughs> you can keep them. <laughs> this is fun. I really like this. I think this turned out really nice. Think of the possibilities. Think of the possibility. I know. I'm really liking your backsplash idea. Honest to God. And I'm thinking that table out there. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> I would, Kathy and I were talking earlier, and I was saying how I'd like to alter an IKEA table, one of those. Um, um, uh, oh, what what's the brand? I said it to you earlier, did you? Didn't I? Um, they're just like a ten dollar table, side table. It's a square, yeah, and. I was saying how I'd love to do something and then uh, put resin coating over it. And uh, that would be really neat. You should do that. <laughs> Watson says we need to create an island for people like them. <laughs> that musician that shall not come back here. <laughs> and shall not be named. <laughs> Scrappy camper sister says if you break the laws, you have should have to go back. <laughs> no, just jail them. <laughs> Honestly, like who doesn't know who we're talking about? <laughs> Somebody not on the internet and would not be watching this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This is kind of fun. I am really kind of liking this. I think I need to make the table. That would be super cool. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. Change the subject, Eileen. Yakadu gets me so mad. <laughs> oh, I'll take Justin Timberlake. <laughs> they said, no, we're not giving him back. <laughs> Well, once he crosses that border, he's ours. <laughs> no, Timberlake is staying here. <laughs> okay, I have so... Yeah, he likes Canada. I have so loved him and um, Jimmy Fallon. I just love the two of them. I love Jimmy Fallon. I think Jimmy Fallon is brilliant. Um, personally, I think he's brilliant. And I just love the charisma that the two of them have when he's a guest on that. Oh, my gosh. Makes me smile every time I think about it. <laughs> Wait, the U.S. and Canada traded justice. <laughs> we wish, karma. <laughs> All right. If I wish this dry, will it just dry? There's a magic wand. It's not it's coming along. Like I'm not getting anything off when I 
touch it, you know. But it's got to be another bit. <laughs> See, they're all agreeing with me about. <laughs> yes, their hashtags are awesome. <laughs> Oh, this stream has now been hijacked. <laughs> the mirror song. I love their um I love their evolution of the end zone dance too. That was funny. Timberlake and, and uh Fallon. You've gotta look that up. <laughs> love their hashtags too. Yeah, very cool. I love it when he's on. They did a week of Justin once on Fallon. He was the guest every day. <laughs> I loved it. This is actually not doing too bad. Do -do 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 no. I think he's funny. She says she doesn't like she doesn't like Fallon personally. Since, but you're pretty hard on comedians. Got it. Got it. Erica, I think he's funny. Yeah, this is fun watching paint dry. You're right, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> it's not bad. Just gotta make sure it's dry. So I think what I might do is just do the um, the top tonight, and I will resin coat just in a very thin layer. I'll resin coat the sides tomorrow. I think I'm like I'm pressing now. <laughs> All right, I let it cool a second. And I need to put this on plastic. So is there another um, this is what I did on it before, right? I'm just gonna put it on here. I'm only gonna do the top. I just wanna be able to encase it drips. I want to make sure of it. All right. I'm not sure when it's um. I just a question about when one of Tim holds his products from CHA is going to be in the stores. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, typically their stuff gets staggered out over the next like six months. Um. Contact your local store to see if they're carrying it, and they'll probably be able to tell you. Um, he, uh, Tim Holtz has a new light out, like a, like a, the light, <laughs> a desk lamp that looks really neat. Actually, it looks really really neat. Oh, Terry, I will. I'll rest my voice. I promise. <laughs> okay. But I gotta do some resin first. So out comes my resin box. I have a resin box. And I just like showed that like whip nobody could see what was in that box. I just went wah, wah. <laughs> So I have gloves in my resin box. Put them on for safety. We won't discuss that, Eileen. We don't discuss who sh awards and stuff. <laughs> At least not while I'm recording. <laughs> How did you know I went? Okay. And I have some measuring cups here. Hello, measuring cups.
I think just, I think a full one would probably do it. Maybe two. Maybe I should be doing more. I'll just do one at a time. I have stir stick, popsicle stick. I have resin, resin, Virotex light from ETI. Okay. Karen, 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 questions. So glad you're doing resin. You've never used it and you wanted to. Awesome. Glad that I'm able to show you, Watson. Absolutely. Um, and Music asks, what was the black pen you used again to outline the shapes? That was the paper pen by Viva Color. So it's a graphite. It comes in different colors. Black is one of them. Do, 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 do. Okay. One tablespoon of this. Let me set that down to make sure it's one tablespoon. Oh, like seriously? I can't even see the line anymore. That's not good. I'm going to have to pour it in here. Sharpie. Thank you. I could not see. I'm just going to pour it in here and make sure. I've got enough cups that I can dispose of this if I need, you know. I love Canadians. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I think it was the Viva Decor paper print. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. It was. I'm just going to set that down for a sec just to settle it, make sure. It's just under it. Brave woman to pour over your project. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, I'd like to welcome you to Karen's Art House Studio, Friday night, Ustream, the otherwise known as Do As Karen Says, Not As She Does program. <laughs> <laughs> this is what not to do. <laughs> All right, I'll move it. <laughs> I'm making people nervous. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we'll get another cup out and mark that one. And then I'll pour the two together because it's going to be really full. You know what I mean? It's going to be really full when I mix it. Set it down. <laughs> I like to set it down, guys, so that um, it'll settle. And then I know exactly what I have in here. I'd have needed to add a little bit more. There we go. That's done. Lids are on. Okay. Equal parts. Equal parts. 
If it's not equal part, the resin won't um, set. Yeah. Or set properly. It'll still, sometimes it'll be close, but it won't quite set. So it'll be like tacky. Knock, no, knock. No. There we go. Okay. Because it's full. There we go. You were sure that your iPad said Canadian, not comedian? I love it how you're blaming your iPad. <laughs> oh, you got a lot of confusion. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the iPad's fault. <laughs> Yeah, it's those dang apples. They're rotten. <laughs> rotten apples. <laughs> so all I'm doing right now, ladies, is just mixing the two-part epoxy together. Notice, again, I have gloves on. Because until it's cured, uh, resin is not toxic, per se, but a hazardous material. You don't want to get it. You don't want to absorb it. It's be hazardous. <laughs> no, it's, it's that <laughs> other artist who shall not be named's fault. <laughs> she named them, but I won't. It's all in your mind. I think I'm pretty mixed, actually. Does always have a bad apple in the group? <laughs> yes. <laughs> bad apple. We're rotten. Says the woman whose husband works for the competition. <laughs> Everybody needs to go out and get a Chromebook. <laughs> All righty. I think we're pretty mixed. I'm going to pour this sucker. Okay, can I bring my project back now? <laughs> <coughs> I'm going to need more. So I'm pouring it on. And I'm just going to spread it across the surface. how it's picking up some of the stuff that's underneath it, the texture and the, yeah, I need to do another. I'll need a couple more. I have a feeling, but I don't have my bigger cups here, so let's just do this. Just have to work quickly here. Should have marked that again, shouldn't I? There's that. Those of you who are interested in uh, resin, you should really check out Carmi Simicata's resin craft blog. It's a great resource for people who are interested in resin. And she'll show you the proper way to do it. <laughs> oh, am I wrong? Mix the proper amount first. That'd be good. I'm hoping that, that when that dries, it's not going to dry spotty. Just 
Okay. Oh, yeah. Almost like it's soaking into the... It's soaking in. Well, that's okay. I don't mind it soaking in. But, um... Maybe it's the medium. I'm just doing it fast. See where it picks up only on certain areas? Yeah. Okay, let me just pour that into another one and do it right. That's better. Can you um, flick my screen mouse pad there for me? <laughs> See what I mean? I wonder if the dark spots is where the sizing took. Oh, I don't think so. I think it's something different. We're trying to figure out whose resin did you say this is? Um, resin Crafts Blog. It's Carmi Simicata. C I M I C A T A. Simicata. Or maybe she used glue in the paper towel when she was using it. Ah, maybe. That could be like the dye. Yeah. And the, what Kathy and I are talking about here is, I know you can't see it very well, and I will show you as we go along, but um, whoops. there are some spots in this paper towel that when I poured the resin on top of it, um, it became, well, became spotty. No other way of saying it, right? And um, I'm just hoping... Yeah, which in itself might not be bad. But you're right, it's almost like it's been treated somewhere. So something in the paper towel might be preventing because it's only in certain areas, right? All right. It's, it's looking good, but I just, I'm wondering about those specs. I don't mind the specs as long as it dries um, lighter later. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to do one more. Possibly. If I was smart not doing this on Ustream in like an hour, um, I probably should have left it overnight to dry. Yeah. Well, this is why we do this stuff, right? <laughs> the do as I say, not as I do hour. <laughs> It could have been. It could have been uh, spots that weren't quite dry. 
I'd like to, I'd prefer to think that it was something in the fabric. <laughs> We'll go. Is it reactivating the ink? No music. It's not reactivating the ink. This is not spray ink. This is um, a dye, fabric dye. She spelled it too fast. Slow down for you too. Simicata. C I M I C A T A. Carmi. It's spelled C A R M I. Carmi Simicata. If you if you Google her name, you will come up with it. Ah, she says Eileen says if she used Procyon dyes, it could be a reaction. It's possible. Talk to me. What's with the Procyon dyes? Because she very well could have. That's a Jacquard product, and I know that she uses it. <gasps> Look, I'm smart. <laughs> Because I carry it. Talk to me. In your experience, thanks, Watson. Oh, no, it looks cool. I'm not saying it doesn't. I quite like it. Very cool. It looks very, very cool. And if the markings are there, I'm not going to be upset in the least. The one thing about resin, and I'm like going through, I'm being really butchery with this, by the way, in the sense of I'm being very brutal. It is self-leveling. So when you pour it, if you saw me pour it in the middle there, it will eventually dome and go over. I'm just kind of guiding it to the edge. And I'm not going to worry about um, the edges so much right now because I am going to cover them later. I just want to make sure that I am. I've got it all over the top. And I'm almost out of time of playing with this here because it's going to start setting soon. Right here. So I'm just looking for my spots. See if I've got any. So I'm going to take my barbecue lighter here in a minute. Looking pretty good, actually. I'm going to pop out any bubbles that are here. And that, I tell everybody, is like popping zip. It's so much fun. <laughs> Can't stop. <laughs> okay. I am done with the resin. All of this is going to get thrown out. None of this is kept. And I'm going to switch my gloves out. Sorry, guys. I just didn't realize I was out of the camera there for a sec. Put another pair of gloves on. And I got a little torchy thing here going. Ooh, popping the zip. So the heat just pulls the air that's trapped in the resin up to the surface and pops it. So I'm not trying to, it's kind of fun. I don't know, can you guys see any of them popping? Oh, I just found a spot. Did you see it? That's going to be like crystal clear, man. Got me popping zip. Is there any more? Is there any more? Is there any more? I'm 
need to, when I redo the edges, I got to do the edges of here too. I missed a couple. Why is she setting it on fire? I'm not setting it on fire. <laughs> it takes, it'll take at least 24 to 48 hours to completely cure Watson. Good question. I'm setting it on fire. Not really. <laughs> I am bringing the air bubbles to the surface. The heat from the, from the flame draws any air that's trapped into the resin when I poured it. Because you saw how willy-nilly I poured it. It's going to pull up. Actually, that's looking pretty fine now, actually. Looks like glass. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to get a bigger, um, measuring cup set and do another pour over the top tomorrow. Can you see the pops? I think I got them all now. Well, there was one that popped. See, look. Cool. <laughs> all right. <coughs> I will definitely tweet a pic when it's dry. It'll be hard to tweet in the sense that it'll be hard to take a picture of it because um, it'll be so glossy. <laughs> but I'll take care of it. I will do whatever I can here for you. Um, I'm going to take these off now that I've touched it. And I am going to see if I can pull down. Can you guys see that? Does that help with the color? kind of does. Well, it's a little overexposed there. Let's see if I can do that. And you see that, girls? Can you see that? That looks pretty cool. Oh my god. Actually, I think that those little, um, I think that that's actually really cool. Yeah, it kind of models it, 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 it does, doesn't it? Wow. <laughs> Looks kind of neat in there, too. You can cut. It's more, co it's brighter color here in person, you oh, guys. Yeah. But you can get a sense of it on there, online. Totally. Yeah. No, I wonder if you had it done in white. If I had it done what in white? Your your base coat. If that would have been brighter again, possibly, because this is going to bring out the deep colors yeah. in there. So if I had a, uh, Kathy saying she wondered if I gessoed the in white instead of black underneath with the paper towel. I think it's still you're still going to see the black underneath there because of the base. But it is stabilized as well, so it's not, if the stabilizer wasn't there, it would be really dark. Yeah. But I think it's all good. You like it. It's really pretty. It does. It looks like stained glass, Watson says. Yeah. Fun. I really, really like it. And considering Kathy, who's the stained glass girl, is here, and she approves, I'm happy. <laughs> I think um, I'm going to put glove on. So, yeah, it does. I really like it. I think, um, and when I do my second pour of resin, I'll do a better job on my second pour. I promise. Because, like, seriously. <laughs> when I do my second pour, um, I'm going to dome it a little bit more, I think, and then do my edges. And I think that'll be perfect. Yeah. I really like. I do too. Yeah. Who knew? Paper towel yeah. and the skin cut. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> you love the color variations. 
and it's so shiny. I, I'm with you, crazy, die, crazy nine there. Awesome. Yay! <laughs> That's what stained glass looks like. Models. Who knew? Yeah. Paper towel. It reminds me of what they, and it, you know, it kind of has a waxy look to it. Yeah. Like a, that has a Beverly kind of. Yeah. It's called Yuckagany glass. Yuckagany glass. Kathy says this looks like Yuckagany glass. <laughs> <laughs> love it yeah. all right well thank you so much for joining me tonight everybody I really had I had fun playing with this this is really cool so I will promise that I will do a, a edited video on how I got the pieces from the scan and cut and I promise also to post um, my finished project on my blog as soon as it's done uh, did I use Aviva paper effects around the outside edge I did not I could, I guess, before I finalize the, I just did it around the, the center pieces. That's cool. Who knew, right? I like. <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> she says it looks great, Karen. <laughs> Anyway, have a wonderful evening. For those of you who want to check out the recording, it will be posted on our YouTube site. Uh, it's the Art House Studio, I believe, is the YouTube site. Uh, it'll be posted on the blog, which is the arthousestudio.ca, and you click on blog, you'll get to that. And, um, yeah, absolutely. I will be posting all of that and final pictures as soon as the resin has cured and everything is complete. So thank you again so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Bye, everybody. Have a fantastic weekend.